Welcome to the AutoCAD MAP 3D 2011 tutorial series. This course is designed for new users of AutoCAD MAP 3D as well as experienced users of AutoCAD MAP 3D who are looking for a general overview of the product or that are interested in learning more about specific topics within AutoCAD MAP. The course will cover most of the features and functions used to create manage and analyze mapping data with AutoCAD MAP 3D. AutoCAD MAP 3D is based on AutoCAD which means all of the functionality that you're used to using within standard AutoCAD is available within AutoCAD MAP. And it requires a basic knowledge of those AutoCAD functions. So that basic knowledge of AutoCAD is a prerequisite for this course and those functions that we're talking about are basic navigation functions like panning and zooming, as well as basic geometry creation and editing commands like drawing lines and polylines and editing those features. AutoCAD Map 3D is also included in AutoCAD Civil 3D. So for those of you who may be civil engineers and working with Civil 3D or surveyors that are working with Civil 3D, you also have all the tools within AutoCAD Map available to you there as well. And the course is divided into chapters with several lessons within each chapter. And the chapters are based on specific topics. Every chapter will start with a lesson covering the basic concepts that we'll be covering within that chapter. And once we cover those concepts, we'll go on to specific hands-on demonstrations to illustrate the processes involved. A data set is included with this course and it's organized by chapter name. And after completing this course, you will be able to do many of the common functions and features within AutoCAD Map 3D. And this will include navigating the AutoCAD Map user interface, performing drawing cleanup, establishing and working with attribute data, and this would include object data, as well as external database links. Applying coordinate systems to your maps. Importing and exporting other GIS file formats, such as ArcView shapefiles or SDF files. You'll learn to work with source drawings. And we'll also look at performing queries on objects from those source drawings. You'll learn to establish a multi-user environment. And you'll learn to insert and manipulate raster images that may be used for background information on your maps. You'll set up and use classified objects. And learn to create dynamic annotations within your maps. You'll create points and lines using coordinate geometry methods and learn to work with survey points. You'll also create and analyze topologies, which can give us some very powerful analysis tools within AutoCAD Map. You'll learn to connect to feature sources using FDO technology. And you'll apply styles and themes to those feature sources once we connect to them. You'll also create and edit features within those feature sources and learn to split and merge polygon features. We'll learn to work with point clouds which are just very large data sets collected typically from LiDAR data within geospatial applications. And you'll also establish and plot map books. Once you've worked through all of these lessons you should have a good foundational understanding of the features and tools available to you in AutoCAD Map 3D 2011, as well as some ideas of how to apply them to your projects. And finally, a little bit about me. My name is Rick Ellis, and I'll be your instructor for this course. I've been a CAD manager at a multidisciplinary civil engineering firm 
where we worked with not only civil engineering software, but also AutoCAD map and integrating GIS data with our civil projects. I've also been a technical services manager for an Autodesk reseller where I managed a team that was responsible for training and support of not only AutoCAD Map 3D but also civil products like SoftDesk, Land Desktop, and eventually Civil 3D. I'm currently the president of Catapult Software Solutions where we focus on providing technical services that include training, support, as well as learning materials for AutoCAD Map 3D and Civil 3D. And I'm also the author of several books on AutoCAD Map 3D and AutoCAD Civil 3D. I've spent years working with AutoCAD Map in a production environment as well as training end users just like you. And I'm excited to share those experiences with you as you learn more about this powerful program.